Okay, I'm got a Milano locker here, but I'm pretty sure she's another comma from Italy, huh? Because I bought it in downtown Brazzaville. Uh, it only cost about uh, 6,000 CIFAs, which is about $12. Uh, it's not much to look at. Here's the pinning. Come on, baby, focus for me. There we go. Not much to look at. It's got an okay pinning for a, for a dimple lock. Uh, there's a lot of play in this lock. Uh, you can probably see that it's just kind of wobbling around. Definitely not from from Italy. This thing pretty crudely manufactured, although Stamp Milano probably another one of our Chinese favorites. Uh, it does work, but again you can see there's a lot of play. Even when I hold the, the locking pawl, you can see there's a lot of play in this lock, a lot of slop. So the manufacturing tolerance is are not so good on this lock. So let's see if we can uh, get this thing picked real quick. Or at all. Okay, I'm going to use a straight flag. No curve in it at all. And I'm just going to put it along the left side to, oops, kind of give me a guide as I move down. So just a little bit of tension. Find that, so when I bump into the speed bump, I'll feel it. And it feels like pin two. And then Wow, pin three. Maybe this will be sequential for us. Okay, I got him set, and I got a little bit of a fault set, although I don't believe we have any security pins on this one. Uh, there are seven pins on this lock, by the way. I'll show you the bottom in just a moment. I showed you the key already, but... Uh, that's the only reason I bought it. They had uh, five pinners available. They even had some four pinners available, which really is not that big of a deal in terms of picking. It's, okay, that was pin six. Okay, that was pin five. I think that was four. I started backing my pick out to start at the beginning and ran into one that had set itself back up to the top of the keyway. Okay, that was pin three. It feels like pin four is back up. And there we go. All right, so we got an open on a Milano. Oops. A Milano 7 pin. Let's see if we can put that back. Of the... And I'll show you another little trick. Okay, so we're locked back up. Anyway, this is a 7 pinner. Sorry, I neglected to show that to you earlier. But this is really a crap lock. Uh, that was the first time I'd SPP'd it. But now I'm going to use a homemade rake. This is nothing but a broken Peterson pick that I kind of heated up the tip, if I can get it to focus here. Come on, baby. There we go. All I did was put a little bend in it, kind of a random bend, too. Nothing spectacular about it, but I kind of rounded it off so it wouldn't snag on the pins. And let's put some tension on it. We're going to take this thing and just kind of stick it in there and see what happens. And I did rake it open uh, when I first got it, just to see if there were any security pins. And of course, now that the camera is on, it doesn't even want to rake. It's kind of unusual being able to rake a dimple lock. Get a better angle here. Well, I said it would rake. I am determined to rake it. There we go. I think it took longer to rake it than it did to SPP it. But anyway, there you go. A Milano 7-pin luxury high-quality security cylinder. SPP'd and raked. Anyway, everybody, thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal.